Hey guys, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, so we will be starting this uh, talk in shortly. Uh, thanks for tuning up. And we'll start in shortly. Yeah, I'm waiting for others to join. So this is our second edition of uh, data science dialogue. So we'll see now, okay. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, what is AutoML? Why it is so important? Why we need to talk about right now, right? Yes, uh, we'll see one by one, the what is the use of AutoML and what is the significance? What are the tools are there? And definitely I will show you the demo uh, in some time during the session itself, uh, how these AutoML tools are working and uh, right? So AutoML mainly used for to train the machine learning models without any experience. Assume that if you don't have any experiences, so we can use the AutoML and uh, AutoML tools to expedite, okay? So what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna show you some of the uh, statistics in shortly. You'll get some idea, okay? How this uh, evolved, this AutoML, what kind of companies are using it will come to know, okay? The first thing is an introduction. So AutoML, it's nothing but automated machine learning. So this automated machine learning is actually a source of like solving the uh, machine learning problems in the real world. AutoML covers the complete pipeline from the raw data set to the deployed machine learning models, complete end to end. So in simple words, we can say that the process of automating the end-to-end -end traditional machine learning models, and we have to apply these models to solve the real-time problems. And most important thing is the Google Cloud AutoML is one of the first AutoML launched by tech giants, okay? which, is, uh, which is actually launched by the Google. And also I'm gonna show you the list of tools which our companies are using uh, different, different tools, we are going to see it. Coming to the point, statistics. So statistics means here, is it really worth to understand this AutoML? What is the significance of this? That's something which we are going to see it. The first one is the global AutoML market has generated the revenue is $2070 million in 2019. And it's going to be expected the $15 billion by 2030 as for the statistics. So, and also we have the another statistics, 65% of the auto ML market is expected to be in North America and Europe by 2030. And also we have something like, uh, okay, 61% of the data and the analytical station makers whose phones are adapting the AI and they are implementing the auto ML softwares are in the process of implementing it. So obviously this is one of the important step the companies are taking nowadays. It is really useful to build the tools, right? And the last one is California Design 10 reduced inventory carryovers by 50% after implementing the Google's auto ML tool. These are the great statistics which we are seeing at this on screen, right? There are other more statistics because you may get the question why you need to talk, why we need to look at this auto ML, right? So Lenovo is increased the accuracy of their predictions from the 80% to the 87.5%, reducing the model creation time from the four weeks to three days. So one of the most significant of the auto ML is we can reduce the time, okay? Investing so much of time to uh, figuring out the uh, data uh, preparations and a lot of things we do. But when you use the auto ML tools, this is going to be solve the problem, right? And uh, there are some, some other companies also using this, for example, DNZ domestic and general has experienced a revenue of lift from the 1.5% to the 4% deploying the pricing optimization for the company's customer base. So they use the auto ML 
this is also worked very well you see that everywhere they are talking about data robot right so this is what today i'm going to show you the demo on the data robot we'll get some idea how we are going to use it and the paypal employed h2o.ai auto ml tool to improve their fraud detection model so the accuracy of their model improved from the 89% to the 94.7% and the models were created six times faster that is one of the best example we can say for the auto ml which is from the h2o okay so the auto ml is playing very important role guys coming to the point what is exactly auto ml systems do but they do like data preparation for you and extracting the data from the different sources and everything they feature engineering and features i mean feature engineering is another way we are talking your feature selection feature extraction meta learning and tensor learning all this comes comes into this picture and the model selection the model selection and which model we need to select right there are so many regression model classification model and supervised learning there are so many models which model we need to select here and the hyper parameter optimizations and uh, selecting the pipelines and the problem checking is there any leakage and all these things we can see it in the auto ml systems right so now what are the benefits if i use the auto ml so if you use the auto ml we can implement the machine learning solutions without any extensive programming language for example i am not from as in that i am not from any programming language background i want to use machine learning for my business solutions so how can i do it so for that case we can bring this auto mls and these are the amazing cloud tools we can use it and uh, we can you know, provide the solutions to the business problems right and uh, it will save the time and the resources and it follows the data science and machine learning practices by default because most of the developers they don't follow the uh, machine learning practices sometimes so we can easily use these tools to follow the data science and ml practices and simplify an ai life cycle management and all hold on hold on raja you are talking about ml auto ml and all is there any tool uh, about auto ai yes so hey stop please one second let me think i have a question for you what is the question the question is here do you have auto ai is there any auto ai in this case yes we have the auto ai which is a automatic or automated artificial intelligence which is one of the powerful uh, what i can say that the mostly used by the ibm this auto ai is actually like uh, the subset of I mean, it is a different variation of automation learning so automated artificial intelligence is a variation of the automated machine learning and uh, this auto ml so if people ask the question what is the difference between the auto ml and auto ai auto ml is the automation of the data preparation feature engineering model engineering task auto ai is the evaluation of the auto ml so for example if you take hyper parameter optimization algorithms used in the auto ai it differs from the the parameter tunings which you use in the auto ml so this is how we can say little example to differentiate this one so moving to the next one what are the products we have uh, with respect to the auto ml right let me show you very amazing products there are many big companies already developed the products auto ml products as in that even if you have if you don't have an experiences we can use these tools and it works very well so let me show you first the company service and products the first company is the ibm ibm cloud auto ai and watson studio if you are going to use this auto ml in our case we can use this uh, ibm product name called watson studio uh, this works very well right and the next one is the google the google has its own uh, cloud service name is called the google cloud platform and uh, here we, if we want to use that auto ml we have the cloud auto ml right so moving to the next one microsoft the microsoft having the azure cloud and they have separate portal name called azure portal if you want to use this auto ml we have to use the azure portal 
And the next one is Oracle. Oracle is also using the service called Oracle Cloud and Oracle Auto ML. It's a separate uh, things we basically we use for the implementation purpose, right? And also we have the data robot. So today our demo is on this data robot only. It's one of the enterprise artificial intelligence service they are providing. And the product name itself is also data product. Okay. So these are the, these are the main companies that are investing their, their business into these products. Okay. So bringing that solutions to the many AI solutions. So they are trying to bring the solutions to the, the business problems, basically. The next one is the H2O Auto ML. This is one of the most uh, uh, the preferred machine, auto ML machine learning framework or tool which we have clients are using nowadays, right? H2O3 Web GUI and H2O ML, which is a product name, right? So moving to the next one, there is another slide which talks about uh, another list of products here. For example, here, if you're working on the life sciences projects, you want something auto ML product. So we have like Jart Bio. Bio. So this is also like uh, a company and it's a, it's a product that the companies are using for the life science professionals. And also like auto ML services, there is another one is the Agor AI. So product name is the Agor. So if you want to use these services, we can use this one. And also Rapid Miner. Rapid Miner is actually a, a data science studio. So we can use it for automated model, model ops, auto motor, auto model, and also we have the studio name called the Rapid Miner Studio, which we can use it. So this is how this will be there. And the next one is the Catalyst, which is also the company name. They have their own product name is called the AutoML, the Catalyst AutoML, and uh, which is air driven services. We can also use this AutoML for our, uh, I mean, to implement the AutoML uh, business solutions basically. So last one is, I mean, in this slide, it is the last one is that uh, transmography AI. Automated machine learning for the data structure. This is actually written in the Scala. It runs on the Apache Spark. And uh, of course, we have a few, few products on the, for the Python, some products for the Scala and some products for the Java, like that, right? But most of the products is for the Python only here, the one which I listed. And also there is another list of products. So, I'm going to talk about now. So there is a teachable mission, which is very popular product. So which is actually made with some friends from the Google, which is one of the, uh, the popular web based tool, uh, which we can use it. Uh, and which is really good. And we can train the models image based image based uh, models and other, other models also, we can try and show. So coming to the last one, Amazon, of course, the Amazon is one of the the popular cloud services provider and there are so many services they are providing right so it comes to this uh, auto ml product name is called uh, auto Glon, which is a very interesting tool if you want to build auto ml project in your uh, for your business solutions basically right so these are all like companies products there are so many are there i'm not listed here but i will give you all the links in the video description by tomorrow end of the day so you definitely will get all the links and you can access them in from the from the description itself okay so moving to now the python auto ml libraries is there any python auto ml libraries we have yes there are uh, i'm going to tell you your auto sql loan so if you want to use without investing money if you want to use the uh, automatic auto auto ml libraries we have auto sql loan and ml box with these are things we can install by using the pip command. There is a hyper opt SQL loan. This is also we can install by using the pip. And also we have the teapot, which is a tree based pipeline optimization tool, which is also can be installed by using the pip install. And uh, I'm not to make here, I, I mentioned this mistake auto SQL loan. Instead of that, you can use the TPOT. So it is a TPOT, pip install TPOT. So these are the, the four, uh, okay. Um, the auto ML libraries, which I mentioned here, but there are so many are there. There are so many libraries are there. The, the, the libraries which are very important, now the companies are using it. Those list only you are seeing on my screen, right? So we'll have a look into it, some cloud platforms. Then after that, we'll see the demo. I want to show you the demo and we'll see that how it works. So I have already list of uh, these links. 
and we see that there is a links which I listed here, like uh, the from the IBM, which is IBM Watson, Microsoft, AWS, Oracle Auto, H2 and there are many are there. So I will show you that uh, right now one by one. So let me go to the my studio. So this is the IBM Cloud, which you're seeing on my screen, right? So IBM Cloud, if you want to host your uh, um, like uh, auto, if you want to create your auto ML projects, we can create it here by using the Watson machine learning. And uh, we'll see all these sessions in up in the future, how to deploy the ML products, the one which you trained, the one which automatically trained by the auto ML, those things we'll see in the future. But today I'm going to talk about the few of the tools here. The first thing is AWS, AWS is using the auto Autogluon, this is also like uh, AutoML for the text image and tabular data, which is from the, uh, what I can say that, from the AWS itself, right? And uh, here, if you want to use that, okay, we have to first to uh, use the, the script, which is a Python uh, based, uh, what I can say that, it's a Python based module or uh, library, which you need to install it, but it supports the Python 3.67 and 3.8 and uh, you can also use for the different operating systems here and cpu based and gpu based all this information here it is there so we can use if people are who are very familiar with uh, uh, aws uh, those people can use the auto ml uh, by using this auto glow on right and also there is oracle auto ml pipeline which is oracle based and uh, here also we can use basically what this algorithm, what this Oracle AutoML does, uh, it is mainly for the algorithm selection, adaptive sampling, feature selection, hyperparameter tuning. So it will, will have the new data sets and extract the data set characteristics and everything. So different algorithms can be generated. I will show you the demo. You will get an idea in shortly. You don't worry about it. So like that. So here you have the very amazing documentations here. And uh, we can use the different uh, uh, Oracle also is like providing this feature for us. Okay, so that's something which uh, you need to look into it. And there is a people who, who are like working on to the, uh, the bio for bioformaticians like or like who is working on to the biology like life sciences. For them, this is um, JAD Bio, which is a auto ML platform. It provides the, the leading edge AI tools and automation capabilities for the uh, life science or data science professionals, which is also very amazing tool guys. Okay, if you want to explore it, uh, you just have a look into it. This is a really amazing tool, JAD Bio, so we can use it, right? So JAD Bio is also, which, which is a really amazing tool if you want to use it, right? So there are so many are there and I'm coming to this. Uh, there is another thing is called the A2ML, the, the, the open source pipeline for auto ML. And it is also like, uh, if you want to install it, so we can use the uh, pip install A2ML. So this is also can be done and we can use this. This is also like, it is Azure based. So even in the Azure also we have, even Google Cloud also we have the many tools, uh, we have it. Now I'm going to show you the little demo. I will come back to the tools again. We can see that how it works. So I'm going to take the uh, the demo now. The demo is on the like uh, data robot, right? So let me take first. I will go to the data robot. It's one of the most popular. Uh, what I can say that auto ML tool or auto ML product. The most popular one is the data robot. So what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to open this website data robot, we will see that few minutes, uh, what is this website, why it is so important, um, and all these things will come into the picture, right? So I'm gonna tell you this is uh, this is one of the, the most preferred product uh, in the auto ML uh, field, right? Here you can see there is a healthcare and uh, football, insurance, air force, I mean, US air force, and all is, is, is using it, right? So data robots works for the, uh, executives, analytics, data scientists, business analysts, software engineers, IT operations, and a lot of things are there here. There are like big companies already using this uh, data robot and it's a really great product. And uh, today we are going to see the demo. And if you look at this here uh, in the platform and uh, it talks about uh, there is a consume AI, operational AI and create AI. 
there are three parts which you are seeing it here right and also we can visualize the ai and many things are there here and uh, so just for your information there are so many products guys but i am taking an example for this product to get you into the idea okay how the basically this works so that's where like uh, i am trying to tell you an example so if you want to create an account you just go to the free trial and uh, you just uh, create your account through the linkedin or you submit the details and you create an account but since i already created account here and let me take you to that uh, in another browser that we already i opened this uh, this data robot okay so when i go to the home page of this data robot you can see this is the page you will see in your system so once you log into this uh, this data robot which is one of the auto ml software web based uh, application and it is a similar like even we have azure based google cloud and uh, also like ibm watson there are many tools we have it but why i'm taking the robot robot data robot which is the most popular product which we are referring to at this moment right so i want to start with this already okay here i'm going to tell you here but you need to select the project here uh, which project you are going to use i'm going to use the uh, ml uh, development here so already i have some data sets here if you want to use you can use the existing data sets or if you want to create a new project you can click on the create new project and uh, we can see that uh, there is an option here currently i am into the uh, free account which is not uh, uh, upgraded version i am into the free version that's the reason the hdfs is not showing up so what is this uh, screen here so if first when you are going to build a machine learning applications we need a data first data is the first thing right so this is where like we can get the data data source means like uh, do you have any uh, like uh, databases for example uh, here you can see this aws uh, like uh, mysql oracle 6 oracle 8 uh, redshift sap sap hana so many tools are there here which data store you are using in your applications but if you want to use the any new integrations also we can provide your integration name and additional informations if you are using any other things here right so moving back to this so that is about the data source and also we have the url if you are having the data into somewhere in the remote server we can also provide the url here or else if you are having the file in your local we can give the local also here i'll come back to that how to use it and all and now this uh, ai catalog which is if you already uploaded the data in your local we can use it if you already uploaded the data here we can use it since already uploaded some data here that is a netflix title csv we can use it so we can take any data set uh, if you want to use it from the local or if you want to use it from the remote server or if you want to get the data from the different sources also we can use it here okay so what i'm going to do right uh, let me go and take the some data and before that uh, i will show you something here here there is uh, all industries there is some industries data which is there okay so for example i am going to select here the already i selected this you can select any one of the existing uh, data robot auto ml uh, applications here this is it for demo they are giving here in the below so now if you can go and select anything here for example let me go and select this um this visual uh, the plant disease uh, uh, detection right so we can select this and we'll go to this it will tell you that this is already trained model this is already trained model if you want to use it if you can just go and click the images it will show you the all the images whatever it is there in the the given data set so don't worry it is not only the exit this is just like a, a demo data set they are giving but also you can train your model with your own data set as well that i am going to do it in shortly i will show you that how to do it so here we have the data and we see that all the information here and there is a classes if you want to see the categorical classes all the visualizations here and all the visualizations can be seen here and everything is available right so moving to that uh, the home page uh, i don't want the below one i want to use my own project here so let me go and create new project so click on create new project and uh, you start loading some data sets so for example let me check is there any data in my local randomly i'm giving now okay so vaccination tweets are there and country vaccinations any other data sets we have or else i will do one thing i will take the existing data only here 
okay for example you go to this ai catalog already i have some data here i'm going to create this one is create new project so i'm just going to create click on the new project so this one i'm giving the name here so this is for testing so i will say that test and let it be so the data is getting uploaded now it may take little time because the data set which i have the more than 2 mb so you can see that all these steps are performing at the right side of the uh, image i mean the website so uploading the data reading the raw data exporting the data analysis everything we are seeing it here right but most important thing is that once you upload the data and uh, we need to select the target here so to select the target you don't know how to select the target but before that we see that whether the data which is captured or not yes this project are having the 12 features features are nothing but columns here 12 features and the uploaded uh, is 7787 data points those are nothing but rows and you can see that all the feature names here feature names are nothing but feature names are nothing but a column names these are the column names for example you can see this is the categorical column and you can see that variable type is a categorical 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 so if you want to categorize any data here we can categorize here right now i am making this type is the categorical data right so this categorical data is having the movie and tv show so that's what you are seeing it there is a, it is a binary classification so there we are seeing this so two things here the movie and the tv show so what what we can do in this case and also there is a small error here it's saying that there is one outlier found i will tell you where it is the outlier and we can see <clears throat> so i will make it this type is a target now so i want to predict the given data is a movie or tv show as simple as it's a binary classification let me make it as a target so i will make it as a target here and you can see this i don't know target is a movie or tv show so what i will do right target is selected now i want to train the model if you want to train the model you have to click the start button before that let me show you there is a here this this uh, the warning is there right this warning is nothing but outlier so in the given data there is a quality issue the outlier is detected so that's what you are seeing it here in the out of the columns so what we can do right so we can also see this there is a mean and the standard deviation and on the median so actually this is a uh, statistical information is given for this particularly this column so what i'm going to do right i'm going to train my model now so just click on the start button and obviously you will see this uh, uh, there is some steps will follow here and uh, right side i mean right side of this your target is set it and it is creating the cv and hold out partitions and categorizing the target data so all the steps automatically will be performed by this tool the person who don't know machine learning and uh, i mean i mean to say that the step by step process and uh, this auto ml will do job for you okay that's what we are looking at in this case so you can see the steps here it's setting the target feature and creating the cv and hold out partitions characterizing the target variable loading the data set and everything it is doing the final it is generating the blueprint and there is a, so many models will be trained here you see on my screen there is a data and after that models these are the models is right now the two models is picked up so in this software there is a so many models are there right now this problem statement which is getting trained with many models there is a right now there is a keras a residual neural networks classifier is in right now and the gradient booster tree classifier so so there are so many will come in the in 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 shortly okay if you wait for okay another uh, 20 30 minutes there's a, there is a so many uh, the models will get trained right so once model is get trained uh, i mean i mean will get an option like to deploy this model into the um, in the data robot itself so we can use that api is now so what i am going to do right will wait uh, so this is anyway it is a continuous process because there is a, so many models will get if you see here uh, there is a number is increasing here the models four right maybe after uh, the entire it is it is training with the different models now same data set it is training with the different models right now you are seeing with the four maybe later you can see 16 models 20 models 30 models so why it is training with the different models guys which so it's going to tell you that which model is fit for your problem statement amazing right you are giving the data set to that but this data robot will find you which data set which model is fit for your data 
So that's an amazing thing, uh, which we can use it here. So that's where like, uh, which, which is going to be used. I'm just reading the question. Meanwhile, uh, the, uh, if, you, if you have any questions, you can put that questions in the chat box. Uh, just read the question from the Stravan. He say he's asking feature of the data scientist because of auto MI and auto AI. Yes, obviously there is a, some companies they're not uh, interested to invest so much money for the resources. See, if you if you train the resources, resource uh, if matched skills are there, it's fine. Finding the skilled professionals are very difficult nowadays, right? So anyway, there is a powerful tools like this. And data robot, it is one of the successful uh, product, you know, auto ML. You just go and see the facts as well. So that is the reason. So instead of wasting so much of time, I'm finding the great resources and training them. So instead of that, the companies are focusing more onto this um, using the auto ML tools, which is a great advantage for the business as well, the for clients as well. But it is not always a solution for everything, right? Okay. So it is getting trained because what is the importance here where you see you are given the data. There are so many models is going with the training process now. There are so many models is getting trained. Yeah, definitely I will show you that Amit, we can save the model and we can create a API for this. We can use this API into the Django applications or like .NET applications or Java applications. Also, we can use the same model. So, so this model will, will take time. So I'm going, I'm not going to take uh, uh, much time here, but you can also practice, but I will show you that the one which is already trained in my system. So the one which is already trained in my system will show you, but anyway, this is getting time now. So the, the one which I already trained. Uh, so let me go to this. This is also Netflix data set only, which I trained uh, for our uh, purpose. See this. This is the data set which is got trained. Uh, today I trained this model with the 92 models. Okay, so this is got trained with the 92 models. This I trained in the morning. It got done by end of the day, and the same data set. Everything is same only. Just for your information, uh, instead of uh, taking so much, I don't want to take your time for longer. So that's where like. Uh, So extraction of the insights has to be given by the people at the end of the day, not robots. Yeah, of course, everything is not done by the robots. Okay, everything is not done by the missions, right? So definitely, but the point is that we can cut down the resources. For example, for whole project, there will be 25 people needed, but we can cut down the people here. Okay, so we can see any data set, we can use it guys here, not only the existing data set, any data set, we can use it. Uh, just I have taken the this data set size is also more than one MB data set which I took to show you. Uh, but we can uh, you can also try this and let me know if you have any questions. But right now we can see okay now question now uh, if I go to this models look at now very careful carefully like uh, see there are so many models got trained here 92 models you can go and read each and every model here right there are 92 models got trained. Right. So now in this, um, automatically this data robot is giving an, a suggestion to us recommending the deployment. It is telling us like deploy this model. That's an amazing, right? You, you are actually trained with uh, 92 models, but your data robot is giving a suggestion to you use the, this, um, this uh, uh, like NYS, I mean, even I don't know about this kernel SVM classifier. So it is got uh, giving a recommendation to you. You just click on it, uh, it will work on it. Okay, you just click on that, it will work. For example, if you want to see what data it is there, you just you click on it. You just click on it here and go to the uh, describe button. Uh, it is describe button will tell you how the flow which is happened with this model. Even if you want to see the other models, let me go to the any random model which I'm going to take you. And for example, this is the Euclidean distance. You just click on the describe and it will take you that how these predictions are doing, what kind of model they are using internally. It is the same case for the, okay, here light gradient boosting on elastic net predictions. So here you can see this is gone to the different. So, okay, today I posted in our group, right? Uh, in our group, WhatsApp group, I posted that, right? So there is a data in the data, which is a categorized into three 
text variables, numerical variables, categorical variables. So it is using the one hot encoding and also every model using the different different approaches and different data pre-processing techniques, right? To train the model. That's an amazing, right? So what I am going to gain from this tool, you are the AI developer. When you go on to look at the, all these models, you will see that how the data extraction and data preparation is happening with that. You will easily understand the steps, guys. That's what it, it motivates you that. We can see that how they are using the here, uh, it, the data is divided into three parts here, the numerical variables, categorical variables, text variables. And for each variable, there is a different techniques they are following. And finally, they applied the model here. And then finally, they are seeing the prediction. But it is not the same case for the different model data set, right? Right. So it is not the same case for the different model. You have different uh, flow is there, and you take here, it is uh, having the different flow, something like this, right? So here it is talking about again three, and here there is no category one, only one, one hot encoding only technique using. So different, different techniques we have it here. So coming to the deployment process here, okay. So we have now described in the describe we have seen this entire uh, look and model if you want to see the model information you can see that model file size this is what amit was asking in the chart and the model file size is there and the prediction time and sample size if you want to download this one we can download i will i will i will tell you that how to download it and all and also if you want to evaluate this one okay so we can evaluate these models with the different steps here okay so there is actuals and predicts and ROC curve and the profit curve and many things we can see here. So many metrics are incorporated already in this product, guys. So many product things is already incorporated in this product. So coming to the point, if you want to deploy this one, for example, I want to deploy this one. So it will recommend you to deploy, but since it's already, I'm, I'm into the, at this moment, I am, uh, using the free trial version, right? So we, I don't get the many features here to see it, but we can deploy it. For example, this is already deployed. So this is also already deployed. If I want to see the already deployed one, so I'm going to now, you see that, so this is a predict, click on the predict and you see that there is a test predictions and deploy. So here there is a data which is there, but if you want to see that data, you just click on the ML ops. So it is a machine learning operations. So once your model is ready, once you deployed it, so what is the stage? Next stage is machine learning operations, right? We need to look at the data model performance. So already I'm using this model. I'm just clicking on this model and uh, see that there is a overview and service health. So in the overview, what we can find, what data set you are given, which model you, are, you deployed and what is the environment here build? Environment is a data robot and the project name is the movie data. And uh, this is uh, my details is there who created here. And also there is something called service health and the service health and the data drift and accuracy, all these equations we have it now, right? So I'm setting the association ID, that's okay. Now, most important thing is the predictions. Coming to the last endpoint of this data robot. So yeah, how far it is predicting is an important. So if you already having the test files, you can give and it will check. So already I've given this one, guys. I've given the test file for this and uh, it is taking already predictions are already available for the next 48 hours. So already I downloaded this, okay? Let me show you this one is already I downloaded in my local and uh, otherwise let me download it again. If you want to download it, you just click the button and uh, this will get downloaded. You just open it. You see that results, how it looks. So I'm just going to open now these results. As of now, I don't have the uh, um, Excel, uh, MS, Microsoft Excel, but I'm opening into the numbers. You see that this is a, one is actually TV show and the movie is zero, okay? That means in this prediction, one, stand, one is actually the like, see the positive class means I want to predict the given data, which is a TV show or not, right? So right now it is predicted the TV show, exactly right. The type of prediction is TV show is correct. In the TV show type is zero, but here this time is the prediction is one, movie is predicted. So it is predicting very accurately, right? So this is the data which is predicting accurately. I don't know how many of you know about this positive class. Positive class means the one which I want results, right? For example, I want to predict a TV show, then the positive class is, is the TV show. 
i want to predict the uh, movie then the positive class will be the movie because it is a binary classification so there is only two classification variables are there but you will give a priority to do the which variable so that's where like this positive class is there you just ignore it so when when wherever there is a positive class that's you can see this okay but we mostly will take it for this type tv show prediction is one type movie show and the prediction is zero so one and zero and prediction is tv show like that this entire data set we are giving this and it is predicting the right results maybe one or two places it won't predict well because uh, it's not like 100% we can get the predictions but this is a result set of uh, you don't need to worry about creating this format okay data robot will create for it you so definitely you try today you take uh, some data set like uh, titanic data set or you take something uh, aus uh, predictions or something you try so if anybody facing any issues let me know definitely i will help you in this case because see as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer you should understand what is the auto ml i i am not saying that you have to use this tool but what i mean to give an information to you there are auto ml tools so there are companies are using it already there is a great statistics are there so i want you to realize that okay there are companies are using this product very well which is going to helpful to your lot so that's that's something which i want to highlight in this case guys okay so we have now okay let me go back to the the model which is uh, right currently training now so still it is getting trained i'm going to check the the current project which we are training now just let me click on this so still see already 18 models got trained so far there are already 18 models got trained but this is still ongoing process but you look at something you are also developer when you are working with the data set when you see these two issues there is a two issues we got in here the first one is the outlier and second one is a target leakage so what is this guys outliers and target leakage the outliers are nothing but we know right it is detected so which column it is detected outliers here the outlier detected on the release year and the the target leakage which is detected on this right so target leakage is also there if you want to see this data the the pictureization format also we can see right if every data we can see the visualization data every data you can see in the visualization format that is also one of the beauty guys so data visualization also will be there now you may wonder um, so what should i do with this product so you you have look into this product how these models are developed by this data, data robot company or like any other auto ml companies or auto ml organizations how these are all like really important right so okay i got a question now does it show the inside the train model like parameters and stuff exactly it will show it will show everything rajesh rajesh shekhar gowda okay sir how it resolves under the more fitting problems under fitting problems automatically it will re resolve you can see here there is a get more accuracy button is there right now it is not enabled because still there is a training is in progress once all these models get trained and you will see this get more accuracy button will get enabled then you click that one and it will solve any underfitting or fitting problems will be there and the more models will get into the picture so what i mean to say that when you when you when you are working on this uh, all these model get trained after some time so you will see this get more accuracy button will get enabled and uh, we can resolve the under work so you don't need to worry about resolving the under under uh, underfitting problems or fitting problems automatically this data robot will take care it is one of the successful product guys it's one of the successful product and you can verify that stat we already given the statistics here right let me go back to this you see this this is what i said the statistics right so you can see this everywhere data robot is there right just i'm giving this slide okay just to understand here what i said here so the lenovo increased the accuracy of their predictions from the 80% to the 87% and reduced the model creation time from the 4 weeks to the 3 days so so that's something which is a data robot here also another use case for the data robot which i am saying that so dng domestic general also they are using the data robot they increased the optimal price from the 40k to 300k so these are all like great platforms uh, we can say that paypal employed htvo and all
but one more important point since you guys go listening all these things you can look at here when i talk about this ibm is actually talking about the cloud auto ai but the google microsoft and other companies talking about auto ml there is a difference between the auto ml and auto ai the ibm watson which is uh, which is actually bought this um, for the auto ai if you go to their website they talk about this is auto ai okay there's something which uh, you should understand the differences the google microsoft and uh, data robot these are all talks about the auto ml and this is also like and data robot it is not just only for the text data we can also train with the images as well so that is also the basically it works very well right so that's what i i can say some point here so right now we are seeing there is a data quality issues okay this also can be a uh, result but i am just uh, clicking on this uh, dismiss button anyway this is giving an information with this uh, with respect to the data set whatever the issues we are facing it so if you want to pass this uh, your model is getting trained now if you want to pass this you just click on this pass all the task this will get passed if you want to resume it you can just resume it so it's like very handy okay uh anybody can use this product uh, very nicely and uh, that's where the this is going to be uh, wonderful and one more thing is like each and every column which has the like uh, uh the pictureization and a table wise we can see and also like uh, uh we can see that okay and also we can see that uh, type of variations are for example your date added is there this date added is also like how when the date is added and if you want to see that one into the tabular format we can also look into the tabular format we have pre processed data then it will able to use your yes we are if you already have in the pre processed data it will use but you are using the auto ml guys if you are using the auto ml means definitely um, why we need to take that headache pre processing data right if you are going to do everything by your own then don't if there is no point of going with this auto ml tools right and uh, what is the the main usage of this will increase the 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 performance of the model basically gpu considered from their side uh, i am not sure about the data robot amit uh, but uh, if you go to the like amazon azure auto mls ibm watson auto mls auto ais they are definitely considered the gpus of course the data robot also will be considered otherwise it is very difficult to uh, follow that so definitely it will be considered Uh, but uh, i'm not seen that text anywhere in their website so far but i will answer your question maybe tomorrow we'll get some idea so this is something which is amazing guys okay so you can also use your own if you want to create new project you can create and see this is a data preparation i think you guys are talking about see this is the three platforms data robot which is providing but today our topic is on the yeah m uh, uh, auto ml that's the reason i am selected the ml development but there are other features also data robot will will do but th that is not our concept today our concept is little different so that's 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 how something we are trying to bring it up here so let me go back to the model here still it is getting trained there is a 24 models will get trained i want to see that is there any model is recommended for us see so we got there is one model which is got recommended here what i'm going to do right i'm going to click on this so i'm just going to click on this you see that uh, there is a data recommended and so if i if i want to deploy this one see if you want to see the autopilot has finished now this is done so sometime back raja is ask how to increase the accuracy you can just again click the get more accuracy again it will start modeling for more accuracy so this is where like uh, uh, the previous uh, issues we have seen right maybe you will get some issues like under refitting and over fitting problems this will go in another process it will add more models also right now again it is going to the processing and uh, it's trying to train again with the different data that's where this is uh, this is coming up now right so i want to deploy this one okay how to deploy it guys can i go to the ml ops and do the deployment so there is something called here there is a button called deploy auto model you see the button called here deploy auto model you just click on this okay you just click on this deploy auto model so whichever the product which is got recommended that will get into now right so now deploy model which is done i want to go to this auto model 
and you see that there is a model which is whichever the model which is recommended here that model will get now so right now this if you go to this predictions i don't see any predictions you you don't have any predictions here if you want to give the predictions here and you just upload the uh, file okay choose the file okay so you can go to the ai cartlag and give any file which you want but right now i am giving the whole data set uh, if you want to if you want already split the data like a trinant test you can do it so what i recommend you right you take the data which is in the two two files one is a trained data another one is the test data first you train the model when you come to the deployment process and use this uh, test data to the prediction so now after once you upload the document here then you can compute that this will work see definitely there will be some drawbacks there will be some disadvantages when you use it okay so i'm not saying that this is a complete solution for the every problem we do in the machine learning but there are some tools like will provide the uh, solving the outliers solving the preparing the data and uh, pre processing techniques all these things can be done right so again um, this is got trained if you can install if see this is got ready now csv we can see right now i'm giving the same data set just for the prediction purpose you can give any data set it will work so coming to the last point just listen here coming to the last point i want to use this application i want to give this application to my friend or to my client or like someone who is already wants to use this data set predictions then you can go to this uh, there is a something called predictions here okay so this is under the ml ops guys on the top of the screen first one is the data next one is the models then the deployment is the ml ops in the ml ops there is something called predictions in the predictions okay uh, we are done with the prediction then go to this uh, okay predictions we have done accuracy we are done predictions and accuracy and everything we are done so after that what i need to do right i want to use the api so here there is something called prediction api and also integrations we have it if you want to integrate this data with the tableau snowflake and a microsoft sql server also we can use and if you are for example using the predictions api so i want to use this data like api client okay so the entire source code is given here this is the python source code and we see that there is a sys logging and r pass data robot is also like one of the python packages so we can use this source code and you can integrate it into the which our application mainly python applications like django or like if you want to use it in the flask also we can use this one. okay we can also use in the flask if you want to use the cli so you want to pass this api key someone wants to use your api some rest services we can pass this key key and host they can use it so we can give it as an like api and also api client this is a client means client is sending the request and there is a methods here the main method main method has the client and a lot of things are there here so basically we can use this so this is a very interesting tool okay and to see just for understanding the flow from the from the beginning to the end this is a, is going to give a lot of information but still if you want more information you just click on the open documentation there is a documentation is already provided here how to use the models in the production so everything here the production api scoring code many things is the data robot is already given the documentation for us it's a really useful when you try with this way so this is all about data robot but in upcoming sessions i will talk about azure based auto ml and google cloud based auto ml ibm watson based auto ml but personally what i feel like okay data robot is something little advanced with respect to this uh, models building so that's the reason i am just showing this product and uh, which is uh, the free for 30 days if i am not wrong just go and try this and uh, so what you can gain right you can see the flow here right so you are the data science developer you should see the flow and each flow is actually like defined here data model ml ops and there is a model registry right It's coming to the last here there is something like model registry there are so many models here, there here if you want to register that model packages we can create so if you want to download that model packages we can download it here but if you want to host in the application guys for example you want to create application here so that's that time you can go and to open this application you just go and open the application once it is already deployed we can use it right now we can see this is a hosted into the data robot 
but if you don't want to use an data robot you can create your own application also can see it right now it is opening here uh, so we can create the record name and this is a recommended model so this is a recommended model for the data type movie data which we are taken so you can browse the data and give this and you can predict it so this manually you can provide the data and this the model will get predicted automatically right so this is application hosted on the data robot cloud servers but if you want to use it in your application then I, what i said right you can go to this there is a the ml ops go to the the product which you have it movie data and in the movie data go to that there is something called uh, predictions in the prediction go to the prediction api so from this we can take the data this is in the prediction api you can pass the cli command line interface or api client we can use it this source code either you can use this code in your project or you can go to the directly uh, to the, the the application which is already hosted on the uh, data robot so where i can how can i go to this application again i am showing this how can i go to this uh, okay so there is a something on the top of it there is applications just click on the applications and uh, first if initially if it is not right now it is a movie data i want to go for the different uh, project okay test data is just there right so okay how to create that one is the question comes in our mind i have two models right let me go to this test how to create an application guys it is very easy to create an application right so i want to create this one as an application so we can create it right so we are we can go to the steps all the steps are mentioned here like if you want to create an application we can create it here that same applications we can see uh, there as well right you can go to the overview and uh, this is the model you can click on the model if you want to see the model also we can see this is a complete the model which is got trained under uh, your application okay so so when we can show the demo on gcp azure auto ml's so mostly in the in in next week we can connect and i will show you the demos on the uh, amazon and uh, google cloud and uh, azure uh, definitely you will be so excited about those tools as well because we are going to try in the our own data sets but meanwhile you experience this data robot uh, so in the next week we can connect and we will experience this uh, how this works remembering uh, remember guys these sessions are like uh, something which is really what is happening in the industries i need to talk something which is really happening in the industries so every week last time we talked about gpu data science as part of the data science dialogue today we talked about auto ml part 1 in the future we can talk part 2 and in the, and and later we can talk about data pipelines many many things i am going to talk in these sessions every week uh, which is really going to help you to understand the what is happening with respect to this uh, ai and data science in the real world just you spend some, some time only for one hour nothing more than that okay so any questions do you have i am i am planning to take your questions so do you have any questions i'm going to provide these links uh, in in shortly and after some time i will provide them in the same uh, video description you'll get an idea so i just want to know from you like how is this session uh, do you like this content or like uh, my no uh, is it something you did you got bored because this this feedback is going to help me to bring them uh, what type of content you are looking for it right fine so i just want to know the feedback of the content okay then uh, because because some people is already uh, right having idea about and everything so i just want to bring the different content and the next week we can see the different content guys uh, will experience a lot so try to practice this uh, let me know if you have any questions when you are doing with this data robot and immediately after the session if you have some time today you just go and create a login and you take any data sets from the kaggle any data set you can take uh first you better you take the text based data set and after that you can go to the uh, any other things uh, it's going to be useful okay so that's 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 where like uh, it works guys you take the data set so what i recommend you guys go ahead with the uh, text data and go ahead with the 
uh, image data set and you see this how it's going to work there is also one more important product which i am not listed in this entire uh, session because i want to take that uh, product into the separate uh, discussions we'll see that how it's going to be useful you take any data set here right now i have taken the netflix data set you can take any data set and you try to use it and more importantly you may ask the question you are using the classification problem here what about the predictions uh, which is not classification so i want someone to take the regression problem here to predict the data use the data robot and to predict it so please can anyone take that so what is your assignment or what is your uh, the next important thing is someone take the uh, from our group like uploading the regression data set and try to predict it so maybe you will face the some issues or something but will be very interesting guys okay fine so thank you so much uh, for uh, joining this session tonight and uh, definitely i hope this is going to helpful to you to understanding the auto ml and uh, we'll catch up with the different uh, topic uh, in upcoming week and we'll see that okay thank you guys thank you so much for joining